What's poppin', Fight Girl? You rockin' with your boy, Casual Boxing Talk, man. We got a great one, man. Listen, the zone putting it on, man. We got Josh Kelly. We got Avenitian, man. This is gonna be an explosive fight, man. Listen, we got 15 minutes before the fight go down so we could talk our talk, man. But I can't wait, man. Listen, at the end of the day, hold on. Pass me that. Let me get this drink in me real quick, man. Because we gonna talk this thing, man. Yeah. Listen, people. Look, Josh Kelly, man, is one of the dudes that I've been talking about for a long while now, man. This kid is athletic. He's skilled. Great jab. Great movement. Decent power, man. Front foot dominant, man. So many tricks this kid got up his sleeve. And I know he's going to be able to use the ring, pot shot, control the range, and work the ring and make sure he keep moving his feet. This kid is skilled, man. He's different. He's on a different level. You see me? Now, Aronician, he's a one-trick pony, meaning he's going straight for the gusto. He's a power puncher. Go to the body. He's in your face. He's putting the pressure on. He want that smoke. He want that work. He want to test you or taste your power. He want to see what you got. And I don't know how this fight going to play out. I ain't got no, you know, money on this fight. I'm just... Uh, uh, a spectator, a watcher. I, I'm just, I'm in awe about the fight. I think this is a great matchup. And you got to remember, Josh Kelly is what, 12, 11 fights in? So this guy is going up against a guy in Navanishi and that put hands and feet on your boy. Well, he was retiring Shane Mosley. So he put down a, a retiring Shane Mosley. And I'm going to emphasize retiring Shane Mosley because Shane Mosley wasn't this. The great that he was when Aronician put hands and feet. But at the end of the day, man, he had that experience. He's been on the big stage. He's blessed the ring with Shane. And I'm telling you, man, he is dedicated. He's strong. He's ready to go, man. And just listening to him and saying he's going to put hands on your boy, Josh Kelly. He said, listen, I've been training for this fight. I want this fight. I've been looking at film study, man. I got his number, man. He's too green. I got him. I'm like, good God. This is going to be one for the books. <laughs> This going to be one for the books. But at the end of the day, look, you know, at the end of the day, I, you know, I, I always criticize other YouTubers that talk boxing about how they not, they don't like to predict. And so I'm not going to be on that side of the stick. Although I'm going to be a spectator in this one, people, I'm going to go with Josh Kelly because he, he reminds me of myself, man. Skill, athletic, you dig what I'm saying? No homo, good looking. We want to talk about some things. We want to talk about a jab. You want to talk about a body shot. You want to talk about doubling and tripling, shooting, up jab, slipping and moving. We're talking Josh Kelly, people. Now, at the end of the day, in order for Josh Kelly to win this fight, in my opinion, he needs to move. He needs to shoot the jab, keep the length, keep the jab in his face. Avenician is short. He needs to make sure he dictate the pace and push Avenician backwards. Don't allow Avenician to push him backwards, cut off the ring, go to the body. You need the whole grab, clinch, let the referee break it up, then start operating. <laughs> Josh Kelly going to start operating. And if he can do that for 12 rounds, he can win this fight. But at the end of the day, if you want Avenician to win this fight, it's the opposite. He got to push Josh Kelly back. He got to get up under the jab. He got to get that jab out of his face, go to the body, make Josh Kelly drop those hands, and then go over the top. You see what I'm saying? Keep the pressure on. Go to the body. Invest early to the body. And at the end of the day, you make a hit coming in for the first one to five rounds, but it's okay because you're investing. You know how I put that money in the bank and invest to those dividends? You see what I'm talking about? And then you compound that interest. You see what I'm saying? And then I walk home with the suitcase money by the 12th round. So by the sixth to the eighth round, your boy Aronishi and putting in that investment is going to pay dividends for those later rounds where he can put the pressure on and hit your boy Josh with something serious, something deadly with that power he got and put him out. So at the end of the day, people, go to the next video. We going live on this fight, man. We going to give you blow by blow coverage. Good God. Nobody could do it like your boy CBT, man. So rock with your boy. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Peace.